Ladies, back to you. All right, Kai, thank you. We are heading to breaking news now in downtown LA where LAPD officers are in pursuit of a possibly stolen vehicle. We're going to go to our Gil Levis. He is in Sky 5 with the details. Gil looks like he's starting to hit some uh, traffic or is he just obeying the traffic signals? Mary Beth and Sam, it's a very slow speed chase. Yes, and for the most part, obeying the signals right now. Let me come out to a wider shot and show you there's uh, about three or four units of LAPD in this pursuit right now. The airship overhead, there's a lot of foot traffic out here near the MacArthur Park area. That's where we're at right now. We're southbound Bonnie Bray here from 7th. We are hearing from the LAPD that it is a stolen vehicle. It has a bicycle in the trunk there, the front wheel sticking out of that bicycle, but the, the driver failing to yield to those officers right now. And it's been, oh, a little close call right there. Wow, he just went through that intersection red light and almost hit that car, but it's been, for the most part, a slow speed chase. And that driver, not too happy that that just happened. Here we go into another intersection. Fortunately, everybody's uh, not, nobody's going through that one except the driver here, and we'll see what happens. They're trying to get a spike strip in front of it. The driver is remaining in this area for the most part, but here we go. He's going to make a left-hand turn against that red light, and he's going to be going down uh, Alvarado here now. Wow, that was a, a close call there, and uh, it almost seemed that at first that silver car didn't realize what was happening. He looked a little bit upset. Then he probably saw all those LAPD police lights and sirens in his rear view and said, uh-oh, I better get out of the way and let this guy go. Uh, Absolutely. They, you know, the LAPD has dropped back a little bit. Here's a guy crossing the crosswalk. Ooh. He's going to go right through there. But, uh, yeah, he goes uh, westbound here now. This is going to be Olympic. And you see the uh, units have dropped back. Their airship is in surveillance mode right now. There's the airship through the picture. But uh, now he's picking up a little bit more speed here as the driver is going to make another left turn southbound off of Olympic onto Grand. We'll see what happens if the driver uh, tries to bail out in this area. But the uh, units are, are nearby. They have their lights and sirens on. And, again, like I said, a lot of traffic out here. Uh, foot traffic and vehicle traffic. It's, it's so dangerous. We just did a story about how in the past 10 days, nine people have died in car crashes, whether it be DUI, pursuit ending in crashes. Um, this is so dangerous, especially in an area where people are probably off work today okay. and walking around uh, going shopping or just casually strolling the neighborhood. Yeah, absolutely. You just saw a guy on a bicycle riding, riding down the street with his dog right down the middle of the street, right by the guy. So, yeah, very, very much a lot of people out here out and about right now. And, and Gil, I, I, I'm trying to determine, are there, uh, are they blacked out windows? Because uh, it's probably hard to determine just how many people are, are in that vehicle. We're hearing there's two two people, the driver and a passenger at this point. We don't know if there's any more. Hard to see in those in the back seat with those uh, tinted, heavily tinted windows right now. But again, it is stolen. They uh, confirmed that it is a stolen vehicle. And we'll see what happens as he continues here eastbound on uh, 12th Street. And you said this started because this person failed to pull over? Yeah, they identified the car as a stolen vehicle, tried to pull it over, and the driver took off on him. Now I'm hearing LAPD oh. talking about re-engaging with ground units, and they are uh, authorizing a pit maneuver when the chances are uh, perfect for them to do that. Yeah, it's probably, uh, they have to be really careful, as uh, Sam was just saying, with all the... The uh, cars down there, a lot of people off today out there. We've seen them on their bikes and their scooters and out and about for a walk up oh, there behind the trees. A little bit uh, hard for us to see at this point. Uh, are we able to tell if those ground unit units have re-engaged yet, Gil? And what's he waving out of the front? Uh, let me come out to a wide shot. Yeah, uh, here comes the units under the freeway. The driver going the wrong direction there. Uh, and he's going to pop out here cutting off that car that just made a left turn. This is northbound on LA Live, and here comes the LAPD. They're going to get into position and find the right spot for that pit maneuver. They have that bicycle to contend with, but that should be a problem because they usually take the rear fender to do a pit maneuver. The window's down on the driver. Let's take a closer look at him uh, and if we can see if there's any more than uh, him and a passenger on board right now, but he's going northbound here, LA Live, at West Street, and we'll see which direction uh, it will go from there. Okay, so again, uh, we are following this chase. If you're just joining us uh, in and around hey. downtown LA, this is uh, over near uh, Crypto, and uh, am I correct? It's over near uh, Crypto? It is, absolutely, and here comes the LAPD. We'll see if they do it. It's Rampart, LAPD Rampart Division that's been in pursuit of this vehicle here now for about 10 minutes. 
uh, on surface streets, but it hasn't been really on the freeway here. We got some buildings to contend with, but uh, we'll see what happens here at the next intersection. The car is going to slow down. He's got some traffic, so we'll see if they, that's a good opportunity for them to do a pit. Here's Figueroa. All right, so uh, we've been monitoring this situation. We have confirmed with the LAPD that this is a pursuit of a stolen vehicle. Uh, they had identified it as a stolen vehicle. They tried to pull it over, but the driver kept going. We're also hearing that besides the driver that there may also be a passenger in this vehicle. And uh, Gil has been monitoring this as LAPD are talking about trying to do a pit maneuver in the uh, downtown area. Uh, Gil, does it look like this might be a good opportunity? Yes, right here, possibly the driver speeding up a little bit right next to Crypto.com Arena, and we'll see if the driver turns here or goes straight. He's got some traffic. The LAPD backed off on that pit there. A little too slow, uh, maybe, and uh, too, ma too many people on foot there, but we'll see what happens if the driver decides to turn. That might be an opportunity to spin the car out. Yeah, so dangerous with all these people walking around in downtown, and I know it's difficult for you up in Sky 5 with these buildings that can cut off our view of what's going on at any moment. Yeah, my pilot, David Viskovic, doing a great job keeping us uh, away from those buildings and able to see the vehicle here. Very tricky. But here we go, coming up to the uh, convention center, and we'll see if the driver makes the turn here on Pico or not. Yeah, and, uh, you know, it's uh, probably a little bit too early for everyone to start gathering for any sort of event at the crypto arena, thank goodness. So the streets are a little bit more empty than they'll probably be over the course of uh, the next few hours here. I, you have to wonder if those people who are driving on the streets and, and witnessing this, if they have any idea that this is actually a, a police yeah. pursuit, because he's going kind of slow. Oh, there it goes. And there we go. There was perfect spot for it. Spun him out uh, towards the curb, and uh, now they have a felony stop in progress here. Guns drawn, and they have the driver facing them, so it'll be easy to communicate with the driver and see what, what that driver is doing. Here comes the door popping open. And we'll see if the driver decides to uh, uh, follow their command or not. You were uh, mentioning those pedestrians who are watching or the people just walking by. They're getting the full L.A. experience in downtown L.A. today. They are. Oh, yeah, there's even the car. The car yeah, that, the white car over on the right looks like they stopped and someone got out of there. They're probably witnessing. Oh, yeah. He, did he not put that in park? He did not. It spun out and lost control of that vehicle, and it's still in gear so it's uh the driver here complying doing what the officers are asking to do that's good but we'll see what else uh if we see any other people come out of the vehicle or not they said two in the vehicle at least yeah and, and gil you're you know you're an expert on this uh as far as far as following these police commands what exactly are we going to be seeing here if he complies yeah, he's doing exactly what the officers are wanting him to do. They usually ask for the key to be thrown out. He may or may not have done that, but uh, he came out with his hands up. That's exactly what they wanted. It ordered him to walk up the street away from them and then lay down like he's doing. So now they're going to call out the passengers. Oh, actually, they're going to go towards the car. There may not be anybody else in there. So we initially heard two people, but now they went up there without uh, clearing the car uh, or seeing anybody else in the car, I should say. And they're opening those doors. We can't see it right now. But uh, at this point, it looks like it's just going to be the driver. You feel bad for the person whose car was stolen because now it's wrecked or has some damage going on and involved in a criminal investigation, it looks like. But uh, thankfully, this ended peacefully. Looks like the driver is complying. And then we'll see them uh, give the four signal pretty soon here, meaning all clear. Yes. And th that's a good sign, uh, the driver complying like that. A lot of times they don't. They don't want to come out of the vehicle. They might have to deploy a canine. But in this case, he came out, and uh, it's over at this point. 